refining graphs to communicate a story. Question. As you think about how to use data visualizations to communicate your findings with others, can you describe how you refine the visualizations that you present to better support the story that you are sharing with the data visualization? Hi, I'm Shariar Ahmed, and I study water cycle and the causes and impacts of changes in different components of the water cycle. In the July of 2017, exceptional drought conditions spread over the northern Great Plains of the United States. This was one of the most devastating droughts in the entire history of this region. This caused almost more than $2.7 billion in economic losses. Given the rapid nature of this, of this drought, which is actually most commonly termed as flash drought, and, and, and the challenges in acquiring ground-based data to monitor and, and, and capture the, the processes that lead to this drought, we set on uh, in a project to, to evaluate and to see if we can capture some of these processes of this, of this flash drought using satellite data. We used first the Global Precipitation Mission, which gives us an estimate of rainfall values across the globe at a very high temporal resolution. We first plotted the spatial maps at a monthly interval, and we found out that this region experienced a very low rainfall during a season, which usually has a very high rainfall in, in, the, in the past. Next, based on computer models that estimate the content of water in the soil using water balance, we found out that as a, as a result of low rainfall, the soils dried up very quickly. This then caused extreme stress on the vegetation. This was also seen from our model outputs when we plotted monthly spatial uh, maps of, of transpiration of the vegetation. In addition to the significant damage to crops, there were also massive wildfires that erupted as a result in, in the aftermath of this flash drought, compounding to the catastrophe of this drought. In summary, we found out that using the satellite data along with computer models can help us capture a more complete evolution of these flash droughts and can help us further to mitigate and pre uh, prepare for, uh, for these such extreme events to minimize the damage that they usually cause. Thank you.